Cheers, bitches. We're going shopping. I thought I got it from Mean Girls. Get in, bitches. We're going shopping. Got my shot of espresso. We got about a half hour till the launch. I'm gonna sit by my computer and contemplate what I'm doing. <sighs> 31 minutes and 26 seconds. I've been waiting a while for this one. I'm not gonna lie, ever since the last launch, I got that sage green effortless legging. Ever since then, I said the next time they do some new colors, I'm on it. I'm really banking on Honor Active, learning from the last launch that they need to stock up because we want those effortless leggings. Last time I managed to get one legging. I did tell you in that video that it's one of my favorite scrunches to date ever. Luckily, they're only launching three unique colors, but I kind of find it hard to pick what I wanna get. I've actually never tried anything else from the effortless range other than the leggings, so I'm really excited to test out the other pieces like the sports bra, crop top, and some shorts. I'm a little nervous. Can't pick, all right? When I first saw the colors that were launching, I thought for sure, I was like, all right, well, I'm obviously getting that orange color for summer. But then, <laughs> I was actually looking at the other colors, specifically that really deep, rich purple. They said it looks good on every skin tone, so I was like, wait a minute, get real, I need it. I'm not sure if I'm like completely in love with this pinkish color. It's it's definitely my least favorite of the three, even though they're all gorgeous. I just feel like this is a little too much like the dragon pink color from Gymshark, which I already have. So I'm like, meh. But let's see, this orange, do we have a picture? Then you got Chrissy Cella rocking this like mango-y orange color and I need them. Yo, hand me that notepad my mom gave me. Thanks. Thanks, Ma. Mama. Mama. This, my mom gave me a notebook that I had since I was like in graphic design school when I was trying to make my own active wear. Don't look at it. Don't look at it for too long because you're gonna laugh. But yeah, I tried to design my own sh <laughs> Embarrassing. Okay, Christy Chella, here's what you're gonna have me buying today. I need orange. I think I'm gonna do all matching sets. I got my little helper here. All right, so Peach Blossom, we're gonna do shorts and a bra because it's summertime. I don't think I'm gonna need the crop top. It's too hot for that. I don't really like crop tops that much. Amethyst, I think I'm gonna get one of everything. What the hell color is Amethyst again? <laughs> Are you serious? It's this purple. I mean, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight items. <sighs> you know? Christy Chella's hair is mad long for this photo shoot. I was like, damn girl, look at you. I gotta find out whatever she's using. I am gonna get all the shorts in a size medium though. The closer it gets, the more my heartbeat starts beating. <laughs> 10, nine, nine, eight, eight seven, seven, drink six, away espresso. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, dang. All right, y'all. We will see you in one to three business days. These are not the leggings that I thought they would be. So we definitely have some serious chit-chatting to do in today's video. But before we get into it, a quick word from today's sponsor. A super common question that I always get is what do you wear underneath your leggings? I want something that's super comfortable, that doesn't roll or shift around, and most importantly, that you don't see through the leggings. Now, if I'm being completely honest, for the longest time I was going completely commando. But as we all know, there's downfalls to that, such as, do I even need to go there? <laughs> well, first of all, we are women. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> And number two, let's not forget about the moose knuckle, the coin slot, the front scrunch, the dreaded CT. I would get that up, down, left, and right when I did not wear under it. <laughs> so needless to say, I now wear undies under my leggings, woohoo. <laughs> so if you are somebody who's on the hunt for seamless pieces that you do not see under your leggings that are super comfortable and gym friendly, I have three words for you. Empowered by you, Ebby. 
So Ebby specializes in seamless undergarments. We're talking thongs, high-waisted briefs, bralettes, like the one I'm wearing right now, body suits, the list goes on. Now, trust me, I have tried a ton of seamless panties in my day. A lot of the time, they would just roll or scrunch up and end up in between places they shouldn't be, which totally defeats the purpose. Looking at you, Victoria's Secret. But you do not have that with Ebby. They actually constructed this in such a way where you don't have any rolling or snatching. Everything lies perfectly seamless and flat up against your body, and there's no bunching even in the deepest squat. So there's no snapping or rolling. If you guys remember from my last favorites video, I actually mentioned the Ebby bodysuit. It was so comfortable. I actually wore this out to dinner one night <laughs> with some high waisted trousers over top, and it laid so flat flat and silky smooth against my body. Now I am a huge fan of solid colors, especially when it comes to going underneath my leggings. I always opt to grab nude colors. However, Ebby has a really nice variety of fun prints, a lot of bright, vibrant colors. So definitely check them out. I'll have them linked in the description box below. They do offer subscription services so you could get a new piece sent to you every single month for a little bit cheaper than you would buy them individually, but don't get it twisted. You can absolutely buy the piece by itself. But if you are interested in making a purchase, feel free to use my code Ashley Gata to save 15% off your entire order. And what's really cool is that Ebby donates 10% of all sales to help fund small business loans for women. Now back to Honor Active. First of all, just know I'm not gonna throw these hair ties out. I know all of you went batsh crazy from my last video because I threw out the damn hair tie. I had, I mean, I had no idea that this was a fucking hair tie. So I saw inside the band on this legging that there's a date here. I don't really know what that is supposed to mean because this says February 31st, 2022. The last time I checked, there's no such thing as February 31st. Doesn't it stop at 28? <laughs> Number two, why would they put the birthday on the band? Second off, check out how tiny these look. They are so small. When I first pulled them out of the bag, they were significantly smaller than I recall from the last time I tried them. That's when I got the red flag. I said, uh-oh, something just tells me this ain't gonna fit right. Now keep in mind, I'm aware that they launched some effortless legging colors. In between this launch and the one that I previously tried in February, which was their very first one. So I don't know if these changes are new in this launch or the middle launch that I missed out on. All these leggings are in a small. I stuck to my true size, because if you remember my last video, small worked for me. They fit ever so slightly snug, but not enough for me to size up. Same size we got going on here. Let's see. Now, when I first put these on, I, it's probably the dye or something along those lines, but they felt so snug. I thought I wasn't gonna get them past my hips at first. Somehow, some way, they made it up and the peach blossom does make the peach blossom. <laughs> I'm just saying. The only downfall here is you can pretty much see through just standing. You see a little something something and I'm wearing my nude Ebby thong, by the way, which, hey, no panty lines. And like last time, I remember it did fit ever so slightly snug. I feel like these are the type of leggings if you're in between, size up. In fact, I think next round, I think I might just size up because right here, I don't like them this compressive. Still in this medium phase. So I think that it's safe to say, I'm gonna end up sizing up next time. I feel like this is running the risk of snapping this scrunch because it's right on the brim of just being way too tight back here. Now keep in mind these leggings are in their regular length. What's cool is they do offer two different lengths. So you got regular and I believe the other one's long. So the main things I love about this legging is number one, the natural looking scrunch. You really can't see that scrunch. Like if you're just standing naturally, it's not like one of those abrupt in your face, loud scrunch bumps. It's also very comfortable for the most part, other than the sizing issue where it feels a little too snug. This is a very comfortable legging and there's a good amount of support. It's a little more denser and thicker than other scrunch bums you might be aware of. <clears throat> Alpha Leap. I just can't get past the fact that it feels like the material's ever so slightly different. I don't know if I'm overthinking things or if it's true. Now looking at the tag, I compared it to the first launch. It's saying it's made out of the same material, even down to the percent. So I don't know if they switched distributors or something like that, but I almost feel like there's something different. 
Okay, because I just had to, it's driving me absolutely nuts. I put on the very first launch, the Sage that I have. Yeah, there's a difference. This is 10 times more stretchier. I mean, yeah. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, well, you know what? These are leggings you've worn many times. Maybe they just stretched out over time. Nah, this is how they felt going on the first time. It wasn't a struggle like these have been. Even the band on the old one is less compressive. I'm not feeling that tightness around my waist. So real quick, throwing on the amethyst, a lot easier to get up than the orange, which leads me to believe it's like a dye thing. I don't know. The lighter color, definitely harder to get past my hips. Amethyst did the trick though. It's still a little bit tight back here. Again, still a little bit tighter than the Sage first launch, but better than the orange. So three for three. After trying on the fuchsia leggings, third color here, it's still tighter than the original Sage I got but a lot easier to put on than the orange. So if you're thinking about grabbing these leggings, I still would size up altogether. There's definitely something funky going on with the orange. So I would steer clear of that color. On to fuchsia. So this is actually my first time trying Honor Active Effortless shorts and sports bra. And if you know, you know, I sized up to a medium in the shorts and now, now they're starting to feel like the old version that I'm used to. So it's definitely a sizing thing. I gotta size up from here on out. The tightness around the quads are pretty decent. Actually, these look extremely long for cycling shorts. Is it just me? I feel like they're almost gonna hit my kneecap soon. Maybe I could do a little shimmying. Nah, it defeats the purpose of cycling shorts, right? So definitely vibing with the medium, a little less compression here. The glutes still looking pretty decent back there. If anything, they're less sandwiched in, am I right? But even in a medium and even in a darker color, they're still not fully squat proof. <laughs> Damn. So let's talk the sports bra. We have a non-adjustable full coverage bra. First thing I notice is the side boob. A little bit too much for my taste. I mean, I, I like that there's a little extra room here so that you don't get so much of a bulge going on. But I feel like since I'm primarily side boob, I don't really got a lot of cleavage going on. I get a little too much of this and I feel like, mm. But other than that, it's a really pretty sports bra. I do actually like the full coverage, to be honest with you. The backing's pretty nice, but I'm definitely feeling a little bit of dig right around here. So that's why I'm like, maybe I would size up. I mean, if you're in between, totally size up in everything. I feel like maybe I would do okay sizing up. It's just a shame because I wouldn't want this to be a little loose if I sized up. I think this amethyst is my favorite color of the bunch. I originally went into shopping for this launch obsessed with that blossom color, the peach, but nah, this is it for me. So right now I'm wearing their regular shorts, not the cycling, the regular in a size medium, and I'm wearing their crop top in a small, true size. I really like the crop top though. It's very thin and stretchy and breathable. The entire side of the crop is a breathable mesh, so you can really sweat it up in here. But I actually like that they kept a real nice backing going on. So it's a little bit open, you wear your sports bra underneath, and just like a traditional crop top, they give you a little peekaboo action in the back. Sleeves are pretty good too, not too tight around here. So yeah, I'd stick to my true size small. The only little thing I notice is right underneath the boobies, there's a little bit of extra material going on here. Not a huge deal for me, but keep that in mind. You know I'm a cycling girl, but I actually prefer the regular length shorts in this collection. I think the cycling's a little too long where it almost looks a little dorky on me. But these shorts are nice. They're not that awkward length where I feel like I'm hanging out. Nice and decent. Again, my size medium, wouldn't have it any other way. When I'm in a low squat, I see the fade right around this region. The thing is, is these leggings with that thick scrunch in between helps to conceal your bum crack. To some people, AKA Bay, he thinks that it looks like I'm sweating in between my ass crack when I squat. Okay, thanks for the honesty, Bay. Even though this is good at concealing sheerness when it comes to undies underneath, it's still not totally flattering because it looks like ass sweat. Let's squat it out a few times and see if there's any roll up. These don't budge. They're really good. Last but not least, we have a long sleeve. I feel like it's a little bit wrinkly, but it's, it's still cute. A little more restrictive though. I notice right around here, it's not as comfortable as the short sleeve and there's no thumb holes. I, I need my thumb holes. Again, it, it's just a lightweight crop. I do think it's good if you sweat a lot because it's very breathable, but 
with me, I don't even wear long sleeve crops as it is. I'm like very picky when it comes to that. I need ultra movement. I need to be able to just move my arms around and I'm feeling right around here. Just a little too much restriction for me. And maybe it's because I have short arms, I don't know, but these sleeves specifically are very, very wrinkly. Like if they're a little bit too long and have a little extra fabric that I can't do anything with. So it just takes away from that glove body fit that it tries to be. So I would pass on the long sleeve, but definitely grab a crop top. Okay, so now it's time for some overall thoughts. We got some pros and cons here. The fact that a medium is now the new small, and these little date stamps that they put inside the pieces piss me off. I don't know why, but it's really ugly. <laughs> and I feel like the timestamps on here cheapen it. This is what leads me to believe that they change manufacturers. Do not quote me. I don't know that for a fact. This is just my guess. So for all I know, I could be dead wrong, but some plus sides here, I really still feel like the effortless legging and the shorts, now that I've tried them, are some of the best scrunch leggings and shorts I've ever tried. It really is an effortless type of scrunch. You don't really have to work for it. So comment down below if you have tried this specific launch. What are your thoughts? Are they different from last time? Let me know. Let's chit chat about it. I hope you guys found this review super helpful. Thank you for being here. I love you guys so much and I'll catch you in my next video.